the upcoming June 7th general election will be one of the most important elections in the history of the Turkish Republic because the 2015 poll will determine whether Turkey will continue as a parliamentary democracy or turn into a new system of Erdogan land, according to Soli Uzel, a prominent Turkish professor of political science. Speaking at the Berlin-based Robert Bosch Stiftung about one of Turkey's most unpredictable elections late on Tuesday, Uzel, who is also a columnist at the Haber Turk Daily, said, in Germany 100 years ago, Turkey was known as Enver Land a reference to young Turk leader Enver Pasa. So this election to a certain extent will determine whether Turkey will be considered Erdogan Land a reference to the single man rule of President Recep Tayyip Erdogan or whether it will continue on its path as the Republic of Turkey. Describing the upcoming general election as the second most critical election in Turkey after that of 1950 which ended Turkey's one-party era after the Republican People's Party, CHP, was voted out of office for the first time Ozil said hope rests with the Kurdish nationalist movement, which for the first time is contesting a Turkish election as a political party and stands a chance of entering parliament as such. Critics consider the Turkish political system to be unfair because of the 10% electoral threshold needed to be passed to secure representation in parliament. The reason the drafters of Turkey's constitution under military rule in 1982 put this threshold into law was to keep Islamists and Kurdish nationalists out of parliament. In an irony of history, in 2002 the Justice and Development Party, AK Party, received two-thirds of the vote and was able to form a government by itself. Since then, despite efforts to keep the Islam-rooted AK party out of power, it has remained in power despite two further general elections, and has also won three municipal elections, two referendums, and a presidential election. In each general election, it has increased its percentage of the vote, in 2002, the party won 34 percent, in 2007, 47 percent, and in 2011, the AK party won 50 percent. In a way it has monopolized the Turkish political system, Ozil said, adding that Erdogan has abused the system by moving himself to the post of the president who constitutionally has to remain impartial but is now acting as a senior prime minister with a deputy prime minister following him, referring to Prime Minister Ahmet Davutoglu, who is overshadowed by Erdogan. Erdogan became Turkey's first publicly elected president, receiving 52% of the vote on August 10, 2014, and was replaced by former Foreign Minister Davut Aluv. Although the Turkish constitution clearly defines the roles of the president and prime minister, Erdogan's ambition led him to state in his presidential campaign that the Turkish people would be electing the nation's leader, should they choose him. Having been elected president, Erdogan is now concentrating on the upcoming parliamentary election in which he hopes he will get the strong majority in parliament needed to change the constitution and thus turn Turkey's parliamentary system into a presidential one. The main obstacle facing Erdogan is the pro-Kurdish People's Democratic Party, HDP, allegedly linked to the outlawed Kurdistan Workers' Party, PKK, which is hoping to pass the 10% threshold to win seats in parliament. This being so, Erdogan has attacked the HDP during each of his election rallies, both inside and outside the country, even though as head of state he is supposed to remain neutral. According to Uzel, with four political parties in parliament, including the HDP, the Turkish public would see a much more even distribution of seats and the move would certainly lessen the monopoly the AKP has both in parliament and over the Turkish political system in general. If it is able to enter parliament, the HDP is expected to obtain at least 60 seats. If the HDP misses the threshold, the AK party which is likely to remain the single largest party in parliament could end up with around 30 additional seats after the HDP's share of the vote is distributed among other parties. According to most opinion polls, support for the HDP is hovering at about 10%, while the AK party is still Turkey's most popular party with 42 to 48 percent of support. In 2011, pro-Kurdish candidates participating in the general election as independent candidates won 6.5 percent of the vote, garnering 36 seats.